Wow. I've never actually played Fortnite before or any video game, really. Not since Pong. But these figures are awesome. They're even better than original G.I. Joe. I remember seeing these for the first time in the stores in Canada, and I freaked out. I think Canada actually got them really early before anybody even knew what they were. Well, maybe Fortnite was out about around for longer than that. Anyway, these figures are awesome, and I don't care, and I'm opening them, and they're so cool. I mean, some of them are a little silly. There's some furries in here and stuff. But I think I have everything from Wave 1. I think I have every figure from Wave 1, including the boxes. I've already opened the pinata, which I have that stuff around here somewhere because I want to put the backpacks on these guys. That's what I'm really super excited about. Thanks, anybody who's joining me today. We've got Isaac in the house and Roger's in the house. Batsy's here. Boobie's here. Thanks for giving the video a like. You guys are awesome. I need to get some scissors. I need to knock this stuff down. And we need to get playing, don't we? So many figures here. Can't believe I had some. I mean, I've picked up some at, like, thrift shops. I mean, I found one on the ground, I remember, once. So I have had that. I've had them in my hands, and I really, really love them. Okay. I'm going to start with this set because it's the biggest. Get it out of the way. I can probably use its box for a stand. Oh, drop my scissors on the ground. Oh, I don't want to knock anything over. Sean's here, and mine is here. Thanks for dropping in, guys. Thanks for giving the video a like. Okay, the first thing I'm going to open up is this giant set, and I think you can make lots of forts with it. And that's what it looks like on the back. Two really awesome figures. And these things are so expensive in Canada. Look at the price on that. That's 65 bucks. I think they might even be more than that. When we got them, the reason why I didn't buy them right away, and I had to wait for a sale, and it's a good thing I did wait for a sale, because when these go on sale, they go on sale big. But one of these figures was $25, and I'm like, what? Maybe $29 even. And then the one with the umbrella, I still haven't gotten the ones with the umbrellas. You know, there's the deluxe set figure packs. Those were $35, $39 maybe. And it's everywhere. It was at GameStop. It was at Can it was at Toys R Us. It was at Walmart. Later on at Toys R Us, they did manage to lower the price to $16.99, I think, which is more affordable for this kind of figure. It was I don't I don't under I don't know if there was a mistake or they were trying to gouge Canadians. But eventually, they've all gone down to cheap, cheap prices, and I've gotten all of these on discount. I mean, right now, they are around $10 for Series 1, and maybe, and probably not Series 2 yet. Series 3 is awesome, and unfortunately, I didn't get any. Here's the formation of the fort. We won't be putting together too many forts today, at least I don't think so, maybe at the end of the video, but you can see all of the really cool textures that come. I mean, that's that's my jam, so I really like that. Um, Hey, Stephen, thanks for joining us. Hey there, are you ready to see that Harry, the former Prince of Wales, will be coming to Canada? Um, I, I did not know that. Wait, why is he the former Prince of Wales? Wait a minute, did he see the former? How come the princes of Wales aren't the princes of Wales anymore? But I don't really follow the news or anything in general, so I wouldn't know that, but I won't be going to see him, and Canada is a What do you call it? A com a com a, a, a I don't know why that word has slipped my mind. Anyway, we're part of the empire, and I don't know. 
It was important to my grandmother because she is 100% British. Something that I do find funny is that, what's the other one? William? Prince William and Prince Harry? William used to be the good-looking son, and, and Harry wasn't so good-looking, and now Harry's way better-looking, and William's no longer good-looking. How does that happen? I guess all of us have our... I wasn't a very good-looking kid. All right. Now... These are all the platforms that we get. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these, like in this video, because it's just it would be too overwhelming. And I do want to use this box. Maybe I'll just throw these back in the box. So we get this kind, which is really cool. And then we get this kind. That's really cool. These are going to be so fun to build with. And then we get more of this kind. And we get more of this kind. This is redundant. And then these metal ones, they're probably, I don't know, I really like bricks too. These could be so useful for backdrops and everything. They're going to come in handy, I think. Let me plop that in here. This is where we will keep all of these plates. And then look at this guy. This is the guy that I opened from the pinata already. He's awesome. I'm going to put in his plates in here, too. So I have a place to put weapons. And I also throw those instructions in there. Let me close this up. This must be the same checklist that I already looked at. Those are the figures you can get. Those are all the weapons you can get. Maybe I will keep that out so I can take a look at that. I'm going to take this box. I'm going to place it under this platform here. Let me stack all of these figures that we're opening somewhere else. Wow, I'm getting warm. It's so cold in here, but it's getting too exciting for me. Let's say hello to some other people. Maybe I need stronger glasses because I can't see. Uh, from, with his wife, Megan. Wait a minute. That's, I don't know, I don't know, oh wait, Megan, I do know who Megan is. She was in Suits, which was filmed right here where I live. They had all the stage props on sale, and I considered going and buying the stuff. Actually, if I had a truck, when, um, the, the, there's a lot of filming that goes on in Canada because it's so much cheaper to film here, and... When the props that they use on movie sets go on sale, they're so cheap. And you can get lots. You like, I mean, it's like refrigerators and computers and like backdrops and signs and posters. And you can get things that are more memorable than those things. But you can get these actual functioning items for really cheap. These are the guns that we got in that big pack. I'm really surprised at how awesome these are with the colors and everything. And we get this pick. And then we get this, I guess this is some kind of conductor. Like, what do you call those things that the police use that they jab you with and shock you? That must be what it is. I think that this game is very violent, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I'm going to put these figures. I'll pile those up here over here, too. And maybe that one's in my light. Maybe I'll put these over here. And you know how clumsy I am. We can pretty much count on that that's going to be falling down at some point during this video because that's just what I do. We'll move that up here. We will get out the first figure. Well, I already showed you one, but we'll show you again. And this is the one of the ones that you get the backpacks for. So, wait, no, it's not. Do all of the backpacks, the backpacks that you came with the pinata, they go with these characters? Because one is a military one. And it looks like he's the guy that you would put that backpack on. I'm pretty sure that the backpack goes with this guy. 
Um, hey, hey, Kuma, thanks for coming by. Hey, Batsy, thanks for coming by. I think I already said hello. Do you hear that Spin Master got the DC license from Mattel? Yes, I've looked at those figures and they're very, very nice. And I was going to buy them. I found them at Walmart here in Canada and they look really good, but I can't buy everything. And these figures I still think are nicer. I love the detail that's on them and the way that they're painted. And yeah, I, I like these more than those, but they're really nice looking figures and I can't collect every toy, like I said. Uh, anybody else I didn't say hello to? If I didn't say hello to you, I apologize, but thanks for giving the video a like. You guys are awesome. Okay, so this guy, very military. I like him, blonde hair. Love the details, love the coloring, cool. Now the pinata came with backpacks, three of them, and I guess it was just three of them, and this was one of them, and I'm assuming that that belongs to, and I showed it to you upside down, I think. It's hard to say. No, yeah, well, I don't know. Did I show you this way? This is the way it goes. And I'm pretty sure that that goes with him. It matches so perfectly. So that's going on his back. These are nicer than G.I. Joe. These are nicer than any. Like Lannard, I really like too. Lannard figures that you can get at Walmart, which are based on original G.I. Joes. But these are, these are awesome. He is awesome. Oh, I was just going to say, do they have stands? They have stands, which is perfect for this display, but I packed all my stands away. Why did you guys let me do that? I guess I'm going to use this color because it's the most readily available. Okay, so stands are the best, especially when you're doing videos on YouTube. I'm not going to be putting any guns in their hands because I don't really believe that we should use guns. So cool. So I'm going to set them up here. I really should set something up so that you guys can see super better. That's closer, right? And that's at least a little bit closer. Oh, maybe the stands don't work so well. It's just the detail on his boots and everything. Man, these are nice. So nice. Okay. And then we got this very evil guy. I don't know how the game works. I don't know if you have to, is this like, is this just a character that you would create or are there actually bad people? Don't people just fight each other, shoot at each other? Or do you encounter this guy? Do you encounter these characters? I don't like the dancing. I really don't like the dancing. This guy is so spooky, so sinister. Reminds me of Skeletor, which, it's an awesome thing, and I don't think he gets a backpack. And that stand doesn't have a peg. So not all the stands have a peg. Wow, I noticed there's so much detail. You can just look at these figures, and you can find more and more stuff on them. It makes them look so cool. Okay, so I'm going to stand him there. All right, and then, and then I need to really get into this four-pack again because I want the backpack people to get their backpacks. So we're gonna have to just lower that for a second until I crack open this box. You can get so many variants and stuff. Man, I've got a lot of these figures to collect, but I'm in no rush, I guess. I can wait until they're, because I'm getting them for me, not necessarily for YouTube. Looks like Duke from G.I. Joe. It really does. And maybe that's my uh, reason why I like him. Cool backdrop, all stripey. Fold this down. Let's jack this up again. And we're back in business, guys. Oh, yeah. So... In this package, we get this very grim looking guy. He's got a translucent face on the bottom. That's cool. Now this guy's a little more too detailed for me. He's kind of like McFarland, kind of spawn-ish. 
But yeah, I don't know. They're made pretty well, though. Well, I mean, they're made excellently, but they, it might not have too much paint. It's like just the right amount of paint. He's very scary, though. Oh, and he comes with a direct weapon that they have next to him, but would that be his? I don't know. Oh, yeah, I guess it's got the translucent plastic in it, the translucent blue. So I guess that does match him really well. So we're going to give him that because they really put it close to him. And these have some really good articulation. They're clicky joints. So there's elbows and there's wrists and the heads swivel and the waists like pivot and swivel. And then there's the knees, and then knees twist and there's a double joint in the knees. That's not the best character to show you on because he's so dark and not showing into my screen very clearly. But maybe for you, you could see it. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next figure because there's so many figures to open today. Thanks for giving the video a like, guys. You guys are awesome. We get two girls in this pack. We get this red-headed girl, if you can call that red. Maybe it's pink hair. And she's wearing some very protective gear. And she's not one of the ones that get the backpack, but maybe she is. Do you think this is for her or is it for the furry? Actually, it looks more like what she has on her top. I thought it was for the furry, which is coming up, but it's definitely for her because it matches her top better. So this came in the pinata. And it's got like modern stuff on that you young kids like these days. Just crazy unicorns and stuff. And that is what it looks like on her. That's cool. Let's put her on a stand. They really have great boots. Rugged, strong boots. Oh. And then she gets this unicorn, what do you call those things? I forget, like horsey, wooden horse, or they had names. Anyway, there's wheels, so you can like stick it between your legs and roll across the ground on if you're a child. But for her, that would not work. So I guess she just uses it and hits people with it. It's a very violent game. It has to be a violent game. I don't know anything about it being violent, but there are so many guns and weapons that come with these packs. I'm assuming it's extremely violent. Okay, the next is the furry girl. And she's in this teddy bear suit. And she looks like this. Um, I agree. As much as I love superheroes, how many Batman and Supermen do I need? Yes, Batsy, that is totally the truth. Hello, all. Hey, Francine. Thanks for coming in. Um, I always mix up Francine's name. Um, hippie. Who did you call a hippie, this girl? Um, happy Sunday, everyone. Yeah, happy Sunday, says Stephen. Stephen's right to wish everyone. Um, Christian Joel's here. What's going on? Thanks for stopping in. Mucho gracias. Buenos dias, señor. And Ranger Danger's here. It's a cartoon, cartoony violence. Yeah, I don't believe in cartoony violence either. Oh, I don't know if I showed you this furry girl. So she's got a hood on. It's kind of creepy that she's dressed like this. She's got a broken heart kind of thing happening. And again, the boots have great treads. And cute, and you can see all of the articulation that they have on them from her because she's nice and light. I don't know if those are lights on the back of her head or what. So much detail, so interesting. She gets this arrow weapon that's great for Valentine's Day. It's really kind of cool though. I hope you're realizing if you are just, I mean, if you're not used to these figures or you know nothing about Fortnite, kind of like me, even though I've been looking at these figures for a long, long time, I hope you also feel that 
these are pretty cool figures. Now, this one is a little hipster, and sometimes the stuff does come off as a little, you know, gen, whatever generation that is. But some of them are just purely cool, so it makes up for it. <laughs> like this teddy bear, she has, she's a teddy bear, but she's got a gash in her head, so that's cool. Let me set her down here. Okay, the next one's a really good one. And something awesome about this guy. So I guess in, in some ways this guy's also a furry. He's in a costume. And he looks military to me because of the green and the orange. But he is a dinosaur. And what's really great is that this helmet is totally removable. Is this the same guy? They have the same face. So maybe it is the same guy in a different outfit. Because he definitely has the same face. And he is one of the guys who gets the pinata backpack. So cool. And it's just going to extend the way that he looks and how cool he looks. So peg that into his back. And he's a total dino man. And do they have their names on these? I can't. Oh, man. I can't pull up all the figures to look, but... Maybe they have names. Battle Hound. Solo Mode. So, yeah, I guess they do have names. It's actually going to tell me on here. This is Rex, which makes sense because he's dressed up like a dinosaur. But, oh no. And then the other guy's name is Jonesy. But Jonesy and Rex look identical because, oh, maybe. Oh, yeah, they have exactly the same face sculpt. But... I guess they're different people. Maybe they're the same people. Does it matter? They're awesome. Look at all those details. Okay, that's it for backpacks, unfortunately. I wish everyone had a matching backpack. And I'm going to stick, stick him in here. These are cool. We have so many more to open. Okay, so also in this set, we get all these extra weapons. And even he gets this extra weapon. They give him this slurp mallet, which kind of is like steampunk. Because it's all like, I guess all of their weapons are kind of made out of stuff that they had to create themselves. It's kind of like an apocalyptic scenario, it seems to me. All you Fortnite fans watching this video, you're probably disgusted with me. Sometimes that happens to the Star Wars fans when I do Star Wars stuff. Because I don't know anything about the movies that came out in the later years. I only know the 70s and 80s ones. All I know, and all Fortnite fans can agree, that these figures are awesome. So cool. Okay. Let me get this awesome clipped machine gun. Sweet. We get this crazy rifle. Cool. We get this scoped number. Excellent. And we get a set of matching pistols. Look at that. Wow. Cool. And then we get more plates, which is great because they can be used as stands, which is exactly what I did. And we get another checklist, but I already have that. Okay. I think we're ready to dive into these clamshells. Look how many clamshells are here. Oh, 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 oh. Did I not say I was going to knock that over? I mean, that wasn't as horrible as it could have been. And wait, why did I even move it? That is the best place for it, right here. That's the best place for it. 
Okay, let's put my my weapon holder. This is where all my weapons are going. They're in here. I need to set this guy up too. The guy from the pinata needs to be standing up here. His colors are excellent too. I love that color combinations. Great. So I'm gonna have to move these guys back a bit because we have to make room for all these other figures that are coming. And I think sometimes some of the joints on these are fragile. I have played around with one, like I said earlier, and I haven't been, had any breakage or anything. So for me, so far, these are quite sturdy. I've opened a Chewbacca that's broke immediately, so. Okay, let me take away his guns. Okay, I, um, I also have to calm down and relax just a little bit too. I get so excited. Okay. 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 What are you guys saying here? Um, Rachel's here and she says, I'm good. Thanks, Stephen. Oh, you guys are being nice and cordial to each other. That's great. You guys are giving the video likes. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Um, somebody retracted a message or maybe it was held for a review, which is some, some, that's okay. You can say nice things and show emojis. I don't know why YouTube doesn't like that. Nancy B is here. Hey, Nancy, thanks for coming by. Saying hello to everyone. Um, yes, love the Ken Wall. The Ken Wall is good. Um, I kind of want to do my Masters of the Universe figures because I kind of want to take inventory of them too, even though I probably have six times that amount and I want to put it over on this wall, but I really don't want to take that wall down. Maybe I'm not going to be able to take that wall down until well after, well, not take the wall down, but put the figures somewhere else temporarily. I mean, I want it to change depending on the videos I do, but it just looks so good that I can't take it down. Anyway, I want to take inventory of my Masters of the Universe, but during February, I'm probably going to do a lot of Barbie openings. So that's not going to work. I'm going to open up this guy right now. Girl. It's a girl. And it's Calamity. I guess her name is Jane, too. And I'm just cutting it open with my Rex scissors. And is she also from series one? We need to open some of series two, too. Oh, she is series two. I don't see where it says what series she's in, though. Somewhere does it say? Maybe they covered it with the eight plus. Oh, series two available. So that means that this checklist is gonna be different. Did they add to it or did they just put other stuff on it? Hey Jim, thanks for coming by. Must be wonderful in Australia right now. It's summertime in Australia. It's winter time here. And yesterday I got this great big snowfall. So it looks like they've added series two to series one. Yes, that is what they've done. They doubled up. It looks like that the weapons haven't increased too much though. Yes, they have. And there are those umbrellas or parasols for the figures that I can't afford because they're just way too much money. 35, $39 in Canada. I think they're down to 20 at Toys R Us. So I'm going to hold out. Actually, I think currently at Toys R Us, because they're having 30% off clearance toys, you can get it for $12 or $13. So really nice, soft, good cape like that. Rubbery. Love a rubbery thing on the toy. She's got lots of cowboy details. That rocking waist is cool. She's got spurs. She is an awesome, awesome cowgirl. 
I'm not sure I like my lighting like this. Hold on, I'm gonna make my lighting better. Oh! Why am I so clumsy? Oh, oh yeah. This will be better for this. There we go. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, she looks great. Really cool, soft goods. That's what her bum looks like. These are excellent figures. Don't you think, Nancy? It's cold here. Yeah, I think it's cold here, too. Actually, it might not be so cold today, but there is a lot of snow. I didn't have any snow for so long, and I was so happy. I really don't like the snow. And then I'm going to put this crazy, it looks, I don't know what it is, kind of looks like a video camera or a level or a planer or a rocket ship or, I don't know, very steampunk. Anyway, it's cool, and she is so cool. Let's move on. And I like that they come with, like, wands or bats rather than... guns it looks like all of these packaged figures don't come with guns oh i didn't show you the packaging so this is this guy and his name is battle hound release the hound it says and he looks scary but like egyptian or roman coolness So awesome to be opening up these figures. Hey, Lawrence, thanks for stopping in. Lawrence, do you collect any of these figures? They're made really well. So reminiscent of G.I. Joe, just in these hipster, young, what do you call it? Generation wise? What? I'm Generation X, so I don't know what all you other generations are. X, Y, Zs, Generation Z. And it really bothers me that they call old people boomers. You're allowed to call somebody who was born in the 40s and 50s a boomer, but that's what the boomers really are. But now you call everyone who's just a little bit older than a kid, they call them boomers now. But boomers should be in their 70s, guys. True boomers. That is really cool. Super, super, like, Roman, Egyptian artifact coolness. And I've already put his staff in his hand. He's kind of got very, very thick thighs. I don't know what's up with that. I have a bunch of the McFarlane 7-inch line. Oh, I don't like McFarlane toys. But, wait, wait, wait. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. But these things look awesome in that line, to tell you the truth. I look at those quite often and want to get them, but they're so big and I can't collect everything. So I did choose to go for the Jazz Wares instead because they're compact but yes, those McFarlane, that's some of McFarlane's best work. I'm just not a fan of Spawn stuff. I could be totally wrong and Spawn isn't even McFarlane. Oh no, I have to show you the package. This is Havoc that we're doing and he reminds me of, uh, I don't know what... There's definitely G.I. Joe guys that are northern winter people. I don't remember any of their names, though. But Snowstorm, maybe. Anyway, he looks cool, and he kind of looks like Snake Eyes. And he kind of looks like the guy that was underwater. So, loving this guy. This. This is the kind that I like. I don't necessarily like the silly costume so much as... The ones that look like soldiers or 
Oh no, his thumb. I took some action figure shots in the snow and it it's not even that cold. Oh, well, that's cool, Nightwalker. I probably could do that because there is a lot of snow and I don't think it is that cold. Oh, and he's got like a tire wrench. What do you call that? I forget what you call those. Um, cool. And it's tied to a stick. That is quite the weapon to hurt somebody with. Man, my lighting is so much better like this. I don't know why I didn't do this before. And his camo snow outfit is sweet. He's an excellent character. One of my favorites for sure. The Rex guy and his and his twin. Oh, I, I do like the dino guy. But those two belong. Oh, and this guy too. These ones are my favorite. But look the most military, I guess. But they're all cool. Bless me having them all. All right, next we're going to be opening up Technique. And she's like a DJ, so she's totally into that hipster vein that I'm talking about. Series 1, apparently, because there's only four figures on the back. Straps up a storm. Oh, sprays up a storm, is what it says. Because she's one of those vandals. Those young children hipster graffiti vandals. I was thinking about something. I guess it was just yesterday. I mean, I think about this a lot. And how generations repeat themselves constantly. And it really is true. Because you know how when you're a kid and your parents don't like the music you listen to? Like, no parents could understand in the 50s what was going on with Elvis. And they were freaking out and thought he was the devil. I totally feel this way about the music that kids listen to the day. This whole... Um, hip-hop culture thing, I, I don't get it. I do not enjoy that kind of music. I mean, sometimes it's catchy. Like, sometimes Beyonce makes some music that's, you know, super catchy that you kind of have to, like, wiggle and shake to. But for the most part, the swearing and the rapping and the... I, I, I can't... I, I feel like an old... I guess I'm an old man, and I, I just can't get behind it. Don't appreciate it. And I appreciate all types of music. I just don't like street hip-hop culture. I think it's wrong. I don't like the swearing. I don't like the way that they talk. I don't like the things that they say. Talking about shooting people and not cool. Not cool for me, but maybe it's cool for you. Maybe I'm just an old guy. Just I feel the same way as those parents in the 50s. Felt about Elvis and his hips. All right. So here she is in her DJ gear. She has this like um, dust mask or gas mask or whatever you call those things that protect you from breathing in the paint. And she's got some paint splatter on her. She's cool. She's cute. She's got a nice figure. Her roller has all these pastel rainbow colors on it. Doesn't look like that would be effective to paint. I don't know how many people paint with rollers, but she probably hits people with it. And she also has this hood, which is this flexible rubbery good, which I love that. So you can put her hood on like so if you choose to. So really excellent, cute, cool figures. And let me put her toe in that peg there. I'm 30 years old, Nancy. That's what the toy reviewer says. Hey, toy reviewer, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like. I'm so glad that you guys could join me today and check out this awesome collection of Fortnite figures. I wonder if I called them Roblox figures at one point. Um, we got Kate's here. Hey, Kate. Oh, this hood fell off and it was in my hand. We got um, Indigo B Boy. Thanks for coming in, Indigo Boy. Thanks for giving the video a like. Um, I saw the 8-inch ones at Canadian Tire for $12.99. Oh, that's pretty sweet, but I can't start collecting those. Canadian Tire actually has some great prices on some toys right now. I kind of have to get a Barbie Corvette there for lower. Hopefully the price will go down. Do these figures' heads swap like 
your dolls. Hmm. Should I rip, try to take a head off? Oh, speaking of heads coming off, this guy's head comes off. <laughs> and there's a little plastic bag over his head. Lawrence, I'm going to have to thank you for that. But his wolf helmet comes off. And underneath he looks like this. And this makes him look even more Roman. So awesome. Cool. He's not a furry anymore. Wow. Okay, he's one of my favorites now too. That is excellent. That is so cool. Love when that happens. His helmet doesn't come off. His helmet doesn't come off. Does her helmet come off? No, her head doesn't come off. And I don't want to try to take their heads off because that would be horrible. And also, I'm very happy with their bodies. I'm not happy with the Barbie bodies. All right, next one. This is this is a favorite. This one looks so cool. Look at this guy. It's Toxic Trooper. And apparently he's from Wave 2. And I'm already losing my voice. Harvest Snap Build. Toxic Trooper Solo Mode. He looks like an astronaut. He looks like he has a television for a face. Sweet. He does look like something from a 50s movie that's from the future. He looks like an alien from the future. Jazzwares makes really awesome toys. And there's they make a lot of really cute um, toddler toys that I am a huge fan of. That is something that I realized yesterday, too. The reason I love Masters of the Universe so much is because the ones from the 80s, they're basically toddler toys. They really are. They're they're like stocky and chunky and hunky and they're like they hardly move at all and they just look like really awesome baby toys. Barbaric baby toys. This is so awesome. We got a space walker here, kids. So good. Look how cool that is. Awesome. Does that maybe that helmet comes off? I don't think that helmet comes off, no. And then these these made gun oh man these horrible horrible violent weapons that they carry he's got a nail gun that he uses to smash on people with so violent this is definitely not a anything this is not a kids review because kids should not be anywhere near these toys I don't think anybody below the age of 30 should be allowed to play with these toys. So violent, so cool. We got another favorite, and it's like he's a repaint of this guy. And he's from series one, so he's not the repaint, he's the original. And this is one of the ones that I saw originally and was freaking out because of how cool they were. But he is totally a re-sculpt, completely 100% a re-sculpt, but I really love this army northern theme that I'm totally accepting it and think it's so cool. I have the next video tomorrow morning at 5 in the UK times. Yeah, don't take them off, but Star Wars and Marvel's getting on clearance prices, nice warm and hot water attempts. Lawrence, don't be ripping the heads off of your toys, all right? How come no? How come? How come? How come none of my? How come none of my uh, mods are approving these messages? That are all these messages that are being blocked. This guy's name is Raptor, which you wouldn't think his name would be Raptor. You would think that this guy's name would be Raptor, even though his name is Rex. As in, I remembered somebody's name. I'm so bad at remembering names. But Raptor is cool. And oh, look at those gloves. This is an example of why I love toys or the parts of toys that I love or the kinds of toys I love. His hands are molded in a different colored plastic. And that's what makes it different 
and his waist is molded in different colored plastic and there's not a lot of paint. There's just tiny bits of paint and it just makes the figure look so good. That's what they did with Masters of the Universe. That is why I love it. That is why I love these. These are so awesome. And he has this, I don't know, some kind of really ultra modern pickaxe. Maybe it's made with a windshield wiper or something. I don't know. A windshield wiper wouldn't. It's a little very, very ultra modern though. I don't know what's going on with that. He's got grenades. I didn't notice that on his other figure. He doesn't have it. Okay, so the other guy didn't come with these grenades attached to his back. That's really cool. Are they detachable? Nope. That is super cool. You can, oh man, so many great details. I put them on a stand. Let them, st oh, let them stand here for you. I love the treads on their shoes. Love the boots. I love the way that the laces are painted on. I would totally rock this whole outfit there. He looks so cool. Oh, oh. I told you I was going to knock those over. Oh. Okay. Okay. Woo. Woo, this is a lot of figures, but they're so awesome. This is really exciting. Next, we have Bandalorier. 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 Maybe it's Laurier. I like Bandalorier better, if that's not his name. He is also from Series 1. This is the kind of outfit that I would wear. And that shark that's speared and used as a weapon is insanely crazy and cool. Can't wait to open up him. Let's get in here. I'll probably save all of these cards. I'll cut them out later because I'm crazy like that. This is really good packaging too for saving the cards. I love that. I do would prefer, I think people should make resealable cards for their toys more often. Band O'Lear. All oh, right, Bandolier. Thank you, Nancy. You're awesome for phonetically helping me out there. Bandolier makes way more sense. And total coolness. This is another one of my favorites because super army. And of course, he's shirtless, so that makes him super cool. And he looks like this. And you can even take off his bullets, maybe. Yeah, it's soft and pliable. You could pull it over his head. He totally can be shirtless. He's got some camo paint on him. And all of those little extra things, like the tie that's around his arm, is made of this wonderfully rubbery plastic. They just feel so strong and awesome. Jazz wears, man, you're awesome. I love you, Jazz wears. Who doesn't love Peppa Pig, too? Everyone loves Peppa. And up close, you can see that he's got a beard and a headband. And you can just take one of these figures, settle down with it, and look at it for a long time, and you'll find all kinds of details. Probably when you revisit them, you'll see something else. Like, yeah, he's got computers on his wrists, and man, amazing. And wait till you see this club up close. This speared shark. Again, not suitable for children at all. Look at that. Speared Shark Awesomeness Club. Hilarious coolness. Stick them on a stand. I think they all have like the same boots on. They all have these awesome treaded boots. She's got sneakers on. All right, I guess I have to start a new row in front. Look at this army. How many figures have I opened so far? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Number 15. We've got all these ones left. These are great. We've got to go. Oh, thanks, Toy Reviewer, for stopping in. Hope you like Fortnite toys.
Or if you don't like Fortnite toys, I'm glad because then you don't have to buy more toys because buying toys is hard. I buy way too many toys. Hey, Anna, thanks for joining us. You're a little late, though, I think. What do you think of these toys? Do you think they're pretty cool, Anna? I've got all of Wave 1, as far as I know. I think I've got all the figures from Wave 1. Oh, no, I don't. I don't have the deluxe one with the umbrella. There's always one. Did I show you the card? I did not. This is Carbide. Carbide. Solo mode. And he's from Series 1. And he's kind of cool because he's just more plain and basic. He's just his mask on. He looks kind of superhero-y. Do you like these Canadian stickers that they have to stick on? And I also want to give a special thanks to Imports Dragon. Because without them, I don't know if we would get a lot of these toys. But maybe Imports Dragon doesn't do these ones. Maybe they just do the McFarland. Imported by Everest. Yeah, no, I take that back. Imports Dragon should not be thanked for this in this video. We should thank Everest Imports for importing these. However, we get a lot of Jazzwares figures anyway. He has the same pickaxe that we saw with this guy, but it's in blue. And he is super spacey, futuristic, kind of superhero Iron Man-y. So really shiny. I gotta love that mask. Ultra modern superhero is what he looks like. Look at those things off of his calves. Looks like they have articulation, but I guess not. The ankles are also articulated in all of these figures too, if I didn't mention that. I guess that's like fins so he can fly. Maybe he can go in the water. Usually if you can fly in the sky, you could probably the same technology would work in the water, too. He's really cool. Put him on a stand. Oh, here's... Up next is one of my very, very, very favorites. Skull Trooper. And he is a skeleton in a skeleton costume. So cool. And he's got, like, a Grim Reaper side. How can that not be exciting? This is, Ep this is from Epic Games. I put Epic in my title because this really is an epic opening. I've This is, has been in a giant box. And to think that I can take all these figures and put them in just one tiny little box. And now I'm going to save so much space. And plus, I can take one of these figures, sit down with it, and just... Like, look at it up close, and it's going to be so much fun. Because that's pretty much what I do with my toys. I just appreciate them for their awesomeness. Now, this body is definitely one we've seen before. It's got, like, a scarf here. I'm not going to figure out which body they were used. But they definitely reused a body. And it has a scarf in his neck. But he is a skeleton figure with a, I mean, he's the Grim Reaper. He is awesomely awesome. One of the most awesome of them. This is a costume that I would want to wear on Halloween, but I've never dressed up like this on Halloween. It's kind of like, you know, they did it in The Karate Kid. They were the bad kids in school. He is so awesome. Yeah, none of them come with guns. They all come with holding holding weapons. Two more figures. This, I'd have to say, is my least favorite figure. But we'll just have to check it out. Maybe I don't know. I have seen that that jacket comes off. I don't know if a friend of mine took it off or if I saw pictures on Instagram. I just know that this coat comes off. I kind of remember doing it myself. That is the weirdest part. But I never had this figure before. So I must have watched a YouTube video where that was done. And it's he's from Series 1, too, and his name is Drift. Drift. 
Oh, so much better without the jacket on. Okay. So I might definitely have to do that because this is what he looks like with his jacket on. He's ultra modern. It's kind of this Asian feel to it. The gold sneakers are pretty cool. I mean, I got to admit, a lot of this stuff is really cool. But when I take off that coat, this makes me love him. That, whoa. That's just a really cool hooded little sweatshirt thing going on. And I just think he looks cooler that way. Those sleeves are a little funny, but really cool. And I do like the Asian feel. This hood is soft. I wonder if it's pegged or glued. I guess it's glued to the top of his head. So, so, so cool. These are such awesome figures. The computer is so far away from me. I don't think it has to be that far. And then he's got this crazy pick. I guess that's kind of like a mountain climbing thing, or I don't know. Some of them have really weird ultra modern things that I can't think what they were before. I guess I kind of have to put his coat back on. I'll put his coat half back on. Hey, I did not notice that these were repaints. And then I'm getting another repaint this time totally oblivious to the fact that some of them were the same. And this last figure that I'm opening is the same as one of the girls we've opened before. Of course, they have different names. And this is Drake. Oh, Dark Bomber. And before her name was Dark Bomber. Oh, no, Bright Bomber. Oh, so I guess that's okay. So here's her alter ego, Bright Bomber. And then we have a Dark Bomber. And she even comes with the same accessory. I do like a gothic character, though. So if she's the evil twin, that makes it kind of cool. Most of them have been pretty unique. She gets the same unicorn toy horse, but in a different shade, in a darker, scarier shade. And then she has crazy purple Skeletor colored skin. And she's also wearing purple. And then can we see the graffiti that's written on her shirt? Just some crazy, scary Pegasus thing. That's her bum again. Kind of spooky, scary, don't you think? Too many things. Um, and Anna, that's a really cute set. <laughs> um. I guess you guys like it, but Anna's a little overwhelmed, I guess, by all of the figures. I like both bombers. Both bombers are pretty cool, Kate. Hey, Kate, thanks for coming in. Thanks for giving the video a like, guys. I'm so glad that you guys joined me today for all these figures. Do I have anything else to open? I think I opened. This is, I think we've got the most people in the room right now, but I've opened up everybody again. I think we're going to have to just review all of the characters that we've seen. and. Uh, probably put them together in the ones that look together. I do have to figure out which figures. I have to figure out that one figure who used the sculpt of that, this guy. But let's see, are these the same? No. Wait, there's a scarf on him. No, it's too hard. They're all too different and too awesome. And wow. How many figures do I have here? Anybody keep track? I bought the variants too. I definitely want to get the variants because in those multi-packs, I believe it's a five-pack, 
Wait, aren't some the same? I don't know. I'll get all of them. I probably will get all of them eventually because they do go on sale. And then that's when I'll scoop them up when I find them at Treasure Hunt or on clearance. My favorites are this guy, for sure. This guy, especially without his helmet. Let's stick it under his arm. So cool. I like the humanoids. I'm always a big fan of the more human character. This guy, these first bunch can't be in any order because of how much I like them, just in general. And that guy, so cool. The skeleton guy. This guy is another one of my major, major favorites. Then this guy. So cool. And then, of course, his twin. Love that one, too. So G.I. Joey. So I guess, yeah, these ones are the most G.I. Joey. And then, again, he's a, he's a humanoid, so I really like him. Even though he is dressed up like a furry. And I think that's silly. This guy is one of my favorites as well. So he's he's like ahead of this guy even. These guys are all tied for favorites. Oh no, he lost his stand. And then the rest of these are still cool. They're all awesome. But they're a little more hipstery. So this guy without his jacket. And why are they starting to fall over now? And then this girl who has her painting and stuff. And then the most furry of the furries is her, which is hilarious. Then we've got the twins, good and bad, which they look really quite cool, but they're very hipstery. Or, I don't know, new kid. And then these two demon guys... It's hard not to like them. Everybody needs demons, and they're super creepy awesome. And this cowgirl is pretty cool. I have to say that she's not so bad. She's not all, at least she's like kind of cowboy and steampunk. And the superhero guy is really cool, too. He kind of goes with this guy, spacey guys. So pretty awesome figures. I really like them. I'm glad that you guys joined me today. I'm so happy that you guys gave the video a like. And I hope that you'll hit that button, that notification button, too. And I'm going to open up more. I'll probably do another video again today because there are a lot of toys that I want to get to. And this is a good way to do it. And I can't wait to, like, you know, spend some time alone with these, though. I am really want to look them over. This guy is wrong. Oh, I don't know. This guy. I think these two are my absolute favorites. And then these two. And then, though, yeah, I don't, I don't know. They're awesome. You let me know. Come back later and leave a comment down below and let me know which ones are your favorite. I'm so glad that you guys joined me today. Hey, SD Thrift. Um, goodbye, Nancy. Goodbye, Lawrence. Goodbye, Booby. Goodbye, Anna. Goodbye, Kate. Goodbye, anybody else? Yes, there'll be more videos. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you again real soon. Love you guys.